Bang Mayalia was built as a Hindu temple, but some carvings depict Buddhist motifs. Its primary material is sandstone and it is largely unrestored. With trees and thick brush thriving amidst its towers and courtyards and many of its stones lying in great heaps. For years it was difficult to reach. But a road recently built to the temple complex of Ko Kerr passes Bung Mayalia and more visitors are coming to the site, as it is 77 km from Siam Reap by road. The history of the temple is unknown and it can be dated only by its architectural style. Identical to Angkor Wat. So scholars assumed it was built during the reign of King Suryavarman II in the early 12th century. Smaller in size than Angkor Wat, the king's main monument. Bung Mayalia nonetheless ranks among the Khmer Empire's larger temples. The gallery which forms the outer enclosure of the temple is 181 meter by 152 meter. It was the center of a town, surrounded by a moat 1025 meter by 875 meter large and 45 meter wide. Bung Mayalia is oriented toward the east, but has entranceways from the other three cardinal directions. The basic layout is three enclosing galleries around a central sanctuary, collapsed at present. The enclosures are tied with cruciform cloisters, like Angkor Wat. Structures known as libraries lie to the right and left of the avenue that leads in from the east. There is extensive carving of scenes from Hindu mythology, including the churning of the sea of milk and Vishnu being born by the bird god Garuda. Causeways have long balustrades formed by bodies of the seven-headed Naga serpent. It was built mostly of sandstone. Bung Mayalia is only 7 km far from the Angkorian sandstone quarries of Phnom Kulin, as the crow flies. Presumably sandstone blocks used for Angkor were transported along artificial water canals and passed from here. Despite lack of information, the quality of architecture and decorations has drawn the attention of French scholars just from its discovery.